I wonder what you think about Nottingham Forest oh. a point, a pointing a, a referee officer. Honestly, I, I think for a start, I think in the last four or five weeks, six weeks, we haven't talked too much about VAR. I mean, the odd decision here and there, but it's actually got a lot better in the last five or six weeks. There haven't been that many sort of what would be decisions that have been that bad, in my opinion. I mean, every team will whinge when they get a bad decision. We used to whinge all the time. But what is Mark Glattenberg doing? Obviously, I've worked with Mark. What are you doing? You, you've been employed to go and tell a football club how referees are making mistakes or what mistakes they're making. I mean, it's plainly obvious. I mean, a fan in the crowd could go and tell you exactly what a referee's thinking. The intent behind what a referee is thinking or an official is thinking is usually 99% there. So I'm disappointed with Nottingham Forest. It's as if they look at all this, woe me. Um, and look, I get it. Some teams feel as though they've been hard done to. Some teams feel as though they've had bad decisions against them. That happens sometimes during the season. I would have hated it. You know, you're speaking to someone who would have been furious if we had one bad decision against us, let alone three. But to employ an ex-referee to tell you what, why you're having decisions against you, for me, I think is a step too far. Uh, you know, this is not an attack on Nottingham Forest fans because I think they're probably, some of, them, some of them will probably think it's embarrassing. They won't like the decisions against them, but I'm sure they won't sit there and think that's a really good move by the club to get to employ someone to tell us where our decisions I mean, Forest fans themselves can say where it's going wrong. So, no, I don't like it. I think that this season there has been a, um, you could argue refereeing standards at times have dipped and there's been some... Shocking decisions, but I suspect that's been in every season since sort of football started. But it would seem the club's approach to referees has changed, that they almost want recourse, they want revenge, they want something to happen. Do you know what I mean? It's almost like in the past when you had a referee, you said, oh, I hope we don't get him again. Knowing full well, you weren't asking for his job, you weren't asking for him to be sacked. Now we're asking for sort of what would be things to happen. Clubs are, are writing letters, they're employing refereeing analysts to sort of tell them where they've gone wrong I mean I, we're going too far we're going to and maybe we're going too far as well but I just feel to me the clubs are not helping because they've got real power they've got real authority they have real standing in the game and what they do is not just opinion it's fact and that really damaging I think towards refereeing and uh, you know I, I say sometimes I look back in my career at some of the things that I did with real embarrassment so I'm not sat here sort of like poacher term gamekeeper because I know some of the things that, you know, I and my colleagues did during our careers were bad against referees. But you look back on, with experience and reflect, you don't expect clubs, you know, players in the heat at the moment that are passionate about winning. I get it. They want to know why a referee's decision has gone against them. They desperately think that they've been hard done to. But for clubs in the cold light of day, to me, is... Uh, it's got to stop. It's got to stop. Well, it'll be very interesting to see whether it makes any sort of concrete difference, regardless. No. Oh, I can oh. guarantee it won't. Oh. I mean, it's like writing yeah. a letter. What difference is it going to make? You can get an apology from a referee, from the referee supremo, Howard Webb. You can get an apology. But even that is not going to help. You know, the fact of the matter is, I can tell you, as clear as night is day, there will be a bad decision next week. And there'll be one the week after. And there'll be a club that feels like that they've had something go against them. That just is football. It's been like that since day dot. It just has.